Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today I'm here to talk to you about side focus, adjustable objective, and what it all means in terms of parallax. Well, the basic answer is that both of them mean exactly the same. What is parallax? That's really sort of the main question. Parallax means uh, how much focus you're going to get in, in sort of layman's terms, means the, how much the focus you're going to get and how much the focus is distorted at different distances. So it's bringing that sort of last lens into focus in your scope so you've got a nice crystal clear picture. Because at the end of the day, if your scope is out of parallax, the reticle appears in the wrong place and therefore you can have a misplaced shot, which is obviously the last thing we all want to be doing. Um, especially if, so if you want to uh, make sure it's your fault rather than the actual scope itself. So, why would you go for second focal, uh, not second focal, sorry, why would you go for a side focus and why would you go for an adjustable objective? Well, the, the honest answer is affordability. Um, adjustable objective scopes, like this small wolf fireball 3 to 9 by, um, by 40, is a nice affordable scope, sub 100 quid, and has this great big dial on the front, which is called the adjustable objective. And that there, you use the, use the, uh, the lines on the, um, on the scope as a rough guide. No lines on here on side focus represent exact distance. That is to just make that obviously clear. They give you a rough guide to that sort of distance. So say 50 yards, obviously around the sort of 50 yards mark, that's where you want to be putting it. Or just have a tweak with it to make sure you get it absolutely right. So you've got it on your rifle, you've got it there, and then you can either twist it that way, or say if you're left hand, obviously shoot with a left handed, twist it that way, so to speak. But ultimately, that adjusts your focus um, at the front uh, and helps you um, helps you get your focus right. What is the downside to adjusting an objective? You you lose your rifle position. I'll be honest with you. I mean, yeah, you can have it like that and then obviously come round, but perhaps you may have to look up and check just like that, losing that sort of at being at one with the weapon, so to speak. Side focus, you will find, um, tends to be from that sort of more budget-friendly market right up to the very expensive stuff. You, it's very rare that you will actually find an adjustable objective on something that is of a mega high value. So I've got this Vect Optics Minotaur here, and you'll see that is, um, that is side focus itself, and it's all on the side there, and the distances, as I say, rough guide, are there on the side for you to use. And the reason that's easier for you to use is that you've got it there, you don't have to lose your position, you can maintain, looking through the scope, yes, I know the flip up caps are on, you can maintain looking through the scope there, and at the same time, you can then just very slightly adjust, just like that. One other benefit of, uh, of side focus, and you'll see this a lot, especially with like competition air gun shooters, is that you can have a big side wheel on them. You can actually plug a bit, say plug, attach a big side wheel onto the side there, and therefore you can actually make smaller, adjustment, smaller adjustments because you've got sort of a larger fulcrum there. So obviously make sure you're getting that absolute sort of maximum amount of focus that you can get to make sure you get a nice crystal clear target. So to be honest, there's not a huge else a huge more uh, else to go through um, because as I say, side focus and adjustable objective, they both achieve the same principle. It just really depends on sort of what category, uh, price category do those scopes fall into? Um, does it then help your sort of situation? To be honest with you, if I was looking for a hunting scope, I tend to go with one that's got side focus on it just because let's say you're on an animal in particular and you just need to adjust the focus slightly and you're already set in the position ready to go. It's easy just to, just to tweak it as such. One final thing I will say about parallax is that you do get some scopes that are a fixed parallax scope. Now this means you cannot adjust the focus uh, whatsoever. Um, these generally tend to be for fixed target discipline scopes. Um, or sort of like very simple hunting scopes. So a classic example, let's say classic, is the Schmidt and Bender 8x56 Classic. At probably the best stalking scope that has hit the market um, for a very long time in terms of budget, clarity, ease of use, um, simplicity. You can't, you can't really beat it. Um, there's a few out there, obviously, like 3x12 by 56s but the classic 8x56 is always one to come back to. That has a fixed parallax of 100 yards. Um, because then you were there, you know you have to get yourself in on the stalk, you have to get yourself within 100, 150 yards to make sure you get that nice crystal clear picture. It basically reduces the amount that you have to think about when coming to taking the shot on the animal.
Of course, you also get these fixed parallaxes, say like the new Falcon, uh, Falcon S10, you get that fixed 100 meters, or you can get it um, fixed at 25 meters, the parallax. Those two options are both available. Of course, if you wanted to, you can always send your scope back to the manufacturer to get re-parallaxed. Uh, they can do that, and all they're doing is they're just changing the distances between the lenses inside, and obviously changing that sort of refraction distance uh, between the lenses, making your life nice and easy. So guys, that's just a quick one on, uh, on side focus, adjustment objective and fixed parallax. As always, if you've got any questions, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Or alternatively, drop us a phone call, drop us an email, we'll always be there to give you a helping hand. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I've been James, your night vision hunting specialist, and this has been another video from Optics Warehouse.